hello friends today we are going to see the concept called data frame okay now what do you mean by data frame if you want to uh, write your data in a tabular format as in statistic we use n number of tables now if you want to print the data in a tabular format in r you are going to use a function called data dot frame okay so the data dot frame function is going to display your data in a tabular format so here again we are going to operate on a variables so suppose we have a table for your employee data in that you have your employee id employee name employee salary and dob that is for your date of birth so to store this data we are going to have one table ok so the table name is what emp dot data you can consider it as what variable name also so in emp dot data we are going to store your table then we are going to write your assignment symbol after your assignment symbol we are going to write your function name what is your function name data dot frame ok using this function we are going to write your data in a tabular format ok so as it is a function so it will have your opening closing round bracket ok so data dot frame open a round bracket next line will have some columns ok so these uh, variable names can be considered as what your column name so ei e underscore id in this variable we are going to store the employee id ok e underscore name we are going to store the name of the employee salary in in that we are going to store the salary of an employee and then you have dob that is what date of birth ok now how we are going to see uh, save the values ok as a, as we are able to see that we are going to so store three records into the data frame how many records three records we are going to store in the data frame so for that if if your values are more than one we will use the function ok so the functions for the multiple entries is what c and scan so over here we use what c function so write your function name c is c uh, an opening round bracket of that c function ok and 1 colon 3 now what is the meaning of this 1 colon 3 it is going to generate a sequence ok it is going to generate a sequence from 1 to 3 ok why 1 to 3 because uh, before the colon you have one value that is what 1 ok that is what a starting value of a sequence and after the colon you have one value that is what ending value of what your sequence ok so your 1 colon 3 is going to generate a sequence uh, for what 3 numbers from 1 to 3 ok so 1 to 3 is what are what your employee id ok after that you have names again your names are in a character form so we are going to write your each name value into what a double code ok so the c function double code rick dan and ryan ok each value is separated by what comma ok you cannot mismatch the column values ok rows entries ok uh, the number of rows must be the same ok for each column ok so you entered 3 id so you are going to enter 3 name only then 3 salaries only then 3 dates ok if you entered 3 id uh, suppose 4 ids and you are entering the rest of the data uh, for uh, only 3 uh, means you are if you are entering the data for only 3 values 3 ids then it will throw you an error that columns the values does not match or the rows does not match ok after that we are going to write salary is equals to c function open a round bracket 20,000, 25,000 and 4,000 ok then you have date of birth ok now what do you mean by as dot date as dot date is going to convert the string into the date format ok convert the string into date format ok so as dot date over here d is capital so you need to write that d capital huh? it is a function name ok so you are going to write as it is as dot date open a round bracket for your date function ok so we are going to enter 3 dates that is why you are going to write your c function then open a round bracket for your c function ok then you are going to write the date in a y y y y dash your mm dash dd in this format double code complete comma next date you are going to write and enter the rest of the two dates close the round bracket for your c function and the close the round bracket for your date as function 
okay this is how you are going to generate a, a data frame for your uh, employee table okay so as you can able to see on a console we executed the uh, code okay and uh, this code appears in your console now okay so we have successfully generated a data frame because it is not throwing a single error okay now suppose if we want to see the data frame you can execute this code that is print your data frame is stored in emp dot data so print emp dot data okay after execution of this line you will be able to see your data in a tabular format okay so you have a column name called employee eid e name salary and dob okay in eid values are what one two three names are rick dan and ryan salaries are 20,000, 25,000 and 4,000 and DOB date of birth uh, which you have entered. Okay. Now suppose if you want to find the summary of this data frame, you have a function called summary. Okay. Function called summary which is going to return you the summary. Now what do you mean by summary? It will be the statistical summary. Okay, so we have seen uh, mean, mode, median, standard deviation, minimum value, maximum value. These all data will be or the summary will get printed over here. So this is the output of your summary. Okay, so for each column they have in, uh, given you the summary of the data. Okay, means, means, means what? Your minimum value, first quartile you have, median you have, then mean, third quartile max means what maximum volume same way for each column they have given you or provided you what a statistical summary okay now suppose you want to find the structure of the data frame you can find that also using str function which is going to return you the structure of the data frame okay so in the structure of the data frame how many observations are there how many variables are there observation means what how many number of rows are there in uh, variable means what how many columns you have okay and what type of data you stored in that column specified uh, specific column the output of that uh, you will get the structure of that data frame okay then you have a split function now split function is going to split your data frame into the column suppose uh, you want a specific column uh, for the uh, for your calculation so you can do that using your split function okay so suppose in x1 i am going to store the columns for example x1 assignment symbol split that is what your function name emp data your data is stored in which variable emp dot data dollar symbol e underscore id comma i want another column called for example data of worth emp dot data dollar symbol dob and you're going to print this okay so after execution you will get the data of what your split function split print x1 and x the values okay now suppose you want to extract a specific column now over here we split it right suppose to if you want to extract specific column from the data frame you can use this special uh, symbol that is what dollar symbol to extract the specific column from the data frame for example in the first 25th row we want e name and on your 20th row we want two column that is id and salary okay suppose i execute these two lines I am getting your two columns that is uh, one column that is what e name suppose I want another two column that is id and salary I can do this way okay then suppose if you want to find a specific rows okay now you are able to see that each row has its own index number that is one two three so suppose you want one first and second row you can give in a square bracket your index number always uh, written in what a square bracket okay so square bracket one colon two so it is going to return you the rows with the index number one and two one till two okay similarly suppose you want two and three you can do that also Okay, 
now suppose i want to add one more column in my existing data frame so your existing data frame name is what e dot data okay now i want to add department column in it so i can write e dot name dollar symbol dept that is what department that is what another column name okay so emp dot data and dollar symbol dept assignment symbol c now department name it will be in a what character so in double code it admin operation okay each value is in what double code and each value is separated now why we entered only three uh, values because we have only three rows previously if you have four you are going to enter four values okay likewise we are going to execute this code also so now you will be able to see that this this is what your previous table till date of birth eid name salary and date of birth okay now we enter added one more column called what dept okay now suppose if you want to add two more rows okay for uh, adding rows you need to create another data frame and then you are going to bind your previous data frame and a uh, uh, new data frame means what your old data frame and your new data frame okay so you are going to generate again new completely new data frame suppose here we have a emp dot data uh, data frame then data dot frame is your function the same way you created a first data frame the same way you are going to generate the new data frame eid now already there we have uh, up to three right so the new two uh, rows will be what four and five so id will be what four and five next names for example over here we have a riyan sam then the salaries of both the employees then date of birth and then department because we added a department column okay so we're going to provide department also over here okay after writing this code we're going to execute this code okay then we're going to print this code okay now you'll be able to see that uh, the table of your uh, emp dot data one okay in this you have two rows in your old one that is emp dot data we have three rows okay now we're going to bind this all okay now how to bind this using r bind function okay r bind function is used to bind your old data frame and the new data frame or a two data frame okay so we're going to execute this line the binding okay then we're going to print it yes now you will be able to see that we printed what emp underscore data underscore new in that we stored what your uh, combined data frame that is emp dot data and emp dot data one okay and this is your new data frame with the five entries one two three four five okay i, I hope you understood the concept thank you